It's great to have correct cadences, and in fact, it's a necessity, in, in my opinion, for, for any sales function. Um, however, it's important to understand that there's no one size fits all with, with, any, with any sort of cadence. And for us, it's about understanding um, the, uh, our client and also the vertical they sit within, um, and also the, the persona that we're trying to reach out to. And with that, to have relevant cadences in place. So some might be call heavy, where uh, there might be some verticals, for example, that, that don't like email. Um, and, and conversely, um, there might be some which are email heavy because those touch points are important because they don't like accepting calls. So we have a range of different cadences that are set up um, for SDRs. Um, and for AEs, they, they differ too. So it's important for us to constantly look at testing those cadences. You can do that within Sales Loft to see what your success is. Um, it's quite easy to access those reports so we can quickly look at it and say, okay, we're having success at this step on this cadence, um, which is great to see. But also we have you know different cadences set up for, for the AEs. They, they carry a large part of the sales cycle. And with them, there's different um, areas that they're trying to adhere to and they're, they're going through those stages. So, so it's important that we have those cadences in place for each stage, um, but also all the way through to close lost. Um, and, and often that cadence is, is, is the most successful one in itself. Those cadences are all there and, um, and, and clearly on the partnership side as well, we've got uh, a set of cadences which are completely different to the direct sales channel.